But it's clear now that we didn't do enough to prevent these tools from being used for harm as well. And that goes for fake news, for foreign interference in elections and hate speech, as well as developers and data privacy. We didn't take a broad enough view of our responsibility, and that was a big mistake. And it was my mistake, and I'm sorry. Uh, one of my greatest regrets in running the company is that we were slow in identifying the Russian information operations in 2016. We expected them to do a number of more traditional cyber attacks, which we did identify and notify um, the campaigns that they were trying to hack into them, but we were slow at identifying the type of, of new information operations. The nature of these attacks, though, is that you know, there are people in Russia whose job it is is to try to exploit our systems and other internet systems and other systems as well. So this is an arms race. I mean, they're going to keep on getting better at this, and we need to invest in keeping on getting better at this too, which is why uh, one of the things I mentioned before is we're going to have uh, more than 20,000 people by the end of this year working on security and content review across the company. After the 2016 election, our top priority was protecting the integrity of other elections around the world. But at the same time, we had a parallel effort to trace back to Russia um, the IRA activity, the Internet Research Agency activity, that was the part of the Russian government that, uh, that did this activity in, in, in 2016. And just last week, uh, we were able to determine uh, that a number of Russian media organizations that were sanctioned by the Russian regulator were operated and controlled by this Internet Research Agency. So we took the step last week that was a pretty big step for us of taking down um, sanctioned news organizations in Russia as part of an operation to remove 270 uh, fake accounts and pages, part of their broader network in Russia.